and gentlemen, the New York Restoration Project is proud to present your host and auctioneer for the evening, Miss Meg Midler! <laughs> I just adore you. I'm a fan. Oh, and I adore your accent. Oh, thanks. I owe it all to Queens. Same with me in my career. <laughs> my mother and I love us so much. All those outrageous outfits and campy makeup. You can only get away with that on stage. <laughs> OK, let's crank this auction into gear. What am I bid for this gorgeous antique chest? Complete with the original knobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Put your hand down, Rabbi. <laughs> but seriously, folks, you know, we're not here just to clean up the parks. We're going to get all the trash out of this city. I did my part. I moved to L.A. <laughs> Start the bidding. Let's get the cheap items out of the way first. Oh, good. That'll give me a chance to go to the bathroom. Item number one, Fran Fine. Oh. Oh, 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 Miss Midler. I'll tell you, you are so awe-inspiring, girl. <laughs> I mean, to have a baby at 40, I can't even imagine what that must be like. Let me tell you. Ah! <laughs> OK, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the services of a professional child caregiver for one day. And let's start the bidding at 20 bucks. <laughs> Do I hear 2250? 25, anyone? Girl, you are on fire. <laughs> Ooh. So sorry I'm late. I had to shoot some nudes. I, I thought Sammy said you were shooting some dogs. I didn't say they was pretty. Uh, baby, this is my niece, Edna. And this is my chick. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sammy and I might want a portrait, too. All we got now is a joint MRI. <laughs> Oh, MRI, CAT scans, angiograms. Well, we had some good times in it, baby. How long is this going to take? Because I do have a meeting in New Haven in two hours. That is why we took two limos, yours and mine. Note how I separate yours from mine, lest there be any confusion in the future. <laughs> well, there won't be any confusion in that future, because what's yours is mine. I smell love. You must be the happy couple. You're so pretty together. Aren't they pretty together? Very pretty. Yeah. I'm Edna. Come on, shake. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. I have to go. Sit. Good boy. I feel that money is probably no issue here. Of course, it's an issue for me because I gotta pay my rent. So we'll start with the top of the line, shall we? Excuse me, I just need to squeeze in here. <laughs> yes. Now, this wedding package comes with this fabulous wedding favor, a 3D pop-up version of the front table. It's very popular. I really don't see why you can't see my side of this. It's just a piece of paper, and if it'll make me happy, why can't you just sign the bloody thing? Well, I'm sorry I did not realize that this marriage is all about just making you happy. You know, we can make this talk. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for the blender. <laughs> OK. So are you the mother? Yeah. She over 30? Uh-huh. You need to help me out here. <laughs> wow, these trips get to really stale. <laughs> Yetta, you're eating liver snaps. Well, 
Allison, Allison, wonderful film, wonderful. David, first class directing job. Yeah, it must have been uh, quite a challenge to maintain control of the piece and yet, yet allow the verite style to flow. <laughs> Who is this guy? He gives a ton of money to the foundation. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> So, Maxwell, you didn't come alone tonight, did you? Uh, no, Elton, actually, I'm uh, taking the opportunity to use this evening as a sort of um, a first date. <laughs> well, that's very flattering, but you, uh, you know I'm involved. <laughs> no! No, no! <laughs> No, 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 uh, no. She's she's in the in the ladies' room, and uh, quite a knockout, I may say. Hello. Here she is now. John, I am such a big fan of yours. Hi, I'm Fran Fine. And that movie, El oh, Tantrums and Tiaras, it's sure to be a classic. Um, Fran. Yeah? You look awfully familiar. Have we ever met? Uh, no, 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 that's impossible. <laughs> hey, and those glasses, they are fantastic. I'm trying to... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> May I see you for a moment? Oh, yeah, just a sec, honey. Tell me, Elton, whatever happened to that Kiki tail? <laughs> now I know why she's so familiar. I have that jacket. Mm, yeah, it's good. It's, yeah, your glands don't seem swollen at all. No, you're fine. <laughs> Oh, wow. Lobster, dancing, and a free checkup. <laughs> you know, maybe next time I see you, you could bring some of those paper hospital robes. They're really great for when I dye my uh, Easter eggs. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how well we're connecting. Mm. It's like I can tell you anything. It's, it's like you're a... Not a sister or a friend. <laughs> Kidding. I just hate when women come across so desperate. Does this place come with walk-in closets? <laughs> yeah. So, um, you want children someday? Yes. Is your mother alive? No. Take me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is class plus. Oh, if I marry him, I'll be just like Alexis on Dynasty. <laughs> I wonder if they got good bagels in Denver. <laughs> Hello, darling. Angel, you're a vision. So stunning. Look at you, and all without a stitch of makeup. I is this a good fantasy? <laughs> Excuse me, where's the sound, man? Thanks. Excuse me, you know, when I sang, there was like those weird feedbacks in my ears, like wah, wah, wah. Wow, you sounded gorgeous. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, never mind. I have found the source of the problem. <laughs> Wonderful, yes, just wonderful. Great, great. So, so tell me, have you given any more thought to the kind of Broadway show you'd like to do? Actually, yes. I would love to do like a show with my musical family. Did you know that my mom wrote the first song that I have ever recorded? Oh. You know, it goes like this. Ce n'était qu'un rêve. Ce n'était qu'un rêve. Impossible à oublier. Oh, oh, is yeah. that beautiful? <laughs> you know, my mother wrote the first song that I ever sang to. Hoots a lilla, hoots a tide, the bubble. Like charming. 
<laughs> I'm sorry for rushing. I really have to go. You know, this is my only time while I'm in London to really indulge my passion for shopping. Oh, you got a passion for shopping. I swear, if you weren't Canadian, internationally successful, and can carry a tune, I think that we were separated at birth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, Maxwell Sheffield. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chevy. Mr. Chase is good. What's it to humor? No, I'm serious. <laughs> How come you like that, Cody Chevy? Well, actually, she called me Chevy. You were so incredible, which happens to be my full name. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you tomorrow at the casino, and we'll talk about the show. OK, thank okay. you, Chevy. You All were so right. incredible. Uh, no. Uh-oh, I think I just uh, felt someone's lips. <laughs> right here. I'll get it. I just work for him. Actually, I've never been married. N not even once? <laughs> well, you know, there was one time, but then I thought about it. <laughs> that was your mistake, dear. <laughs> Shouldn't you tell Maxwell I'm here? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. You know what? I'll just buzz him. Buzz, buzz him. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> oh, Miss Taylor, I have seen everything that you've ever done. Cleopatra, Virginia Woolf, but you know what my favorite was? <laughs> Here's Lucy. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you when your ring got stuck on her finger. You know, I bet you a lot of people ask you this, but could I? No. You know, Raymond, in high school, I had such a crush on you. Yeah. <laughs> well, who didn't? Everybody loved Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ray, I understand congratulations are in order. I read in the newsletter that you just had twins. That oh. must be fabulous. Yeah, yeah I have a five-year-old and twin two-year-old boys. Wow. So, you, you know what? I don't care how this reunion goes. I'm just happy to be out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> That was always you, Ray. Funny and fertile. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. And we, we just got a deal on a house, too. No one uh, wanted to live there because of the noise factor. Oh, why? Are you near the airport or something? No, no. Across the street from my parents. <laughs> oh, boy. Ray, I think you better get back to your table. It looks like your wife is getting a little annoyed that you're talking so long to the <laughs> two of us. No, it's because uh, this is her plate. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Look, she has been working her butt off. I think that she deserves something for it. I'm gonna give her something. An F. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a teacher are you anyway? Teachers are supposed to educate, not intimidate. What's the matter, cat got your tongue? <gasps> You're joking? Why didn't you tell me you were joking? This is the international sign for choking. Well, now I know. <laughs> All right, okay, focus. <gasps> oh, Mrs. Stone, are you okay? Oh, oh, you saved my life. <laughs> you saved my life? <laughs> Well, I might not have passed Jim, but lucky for you, I pass the Heimlich poster every Sunday at Fung Lum's Chinese restaurant. <laughs> so honey, too. Oh, you did great, honey. You got an A, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> really? 
Because I felt like I was really on. <laughs> you girls want Hagen Dazs bars? Oh, sure. Thanks. Mm. Aren't you having any? <gasps> I gotta watch my figure. I can't let myself go. <laughs> Sweet of you girls to still be my friends with me having all this and you having nothing. <laughs> oh, Eva, you're the sweet one flying us out here first class just to rub it in our faces. <laughs> oh. Now you're gonna have to entertain yourselves this evening because I have a lot of lines to memorize. Oh, well, maybe we can help you with that. How many lines have you got? Four. In a row? <laughs> no, that's the confusing part. First I say something, then he says something, and then I say something again. Oh, what a nightmare. Um, <clears throat> let me ask you something, Heather. Who did you have to, I mean, what did you have to do to get this <laughs> Nothing. This cute guy came down to me at the beach and he asked me, hey, do you want to be in television? I thought he was BSing me. I thought he wanted to get me in the sack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I gave him my number. <laughs> it turns out that he's legit. I can't tell you how disappointed I was. The guy's great. Were you saving the best for last? Yes, he was, because that's his style. Slow to the point of madness. And then he proposes. Well, uh, Ty, why don't we step into my office and talk some business, huh? Uh, Fran, why don't you bring Erwin along? Okay. We're win, Erwin. I'm so excited, Fran. <laughs> this is so bad, Fran. <laughs> oh, Erwin, I know that fat is a good thing, but please don't say it so near to my name. <laughs> Hi. Oh. I'm looking for a friend fine. Oh, uh, hi, Punch. Punch? Wow! <laughs> oh, my. Uh, uh, you are muy bonita. Gracias. Yes. <laughs> Great smile. Oh, don't look at it directly. It's like an eclipse. <laughs> so, are you here to see Mr. Sheffield? No, friend, he's here to see you. We sent in your old win a date with Eric Estrada entry form. My manager thought it'd be a fun thing to do, you know, for publicity. Don't you have a big reunion tomorrow night? Yeah. Well, I'm the hombre who's taking you. Oh, my God. like a dream. How could this be? We told him how desperate you were. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, then, I'll see you tomorrow night. Okay. Oh, by the way, is it formal? Oh, Eric, whatever you wear will be just fine. You wouldn't happen to have your old chips uniform. Oh, no, that would be a push. That would be a push. Adios. Hasta So, this is wonderful. How long have you two known each other? Yes, was it love at first sight? Yes. The moment I laid eyes on her, I thought, my God, she's suitable. <laughs> and the moment I saw him, I thought, he seems nice. <laughs> oh, dash it all, darling. Do you want to tell them or shall I? We're engaged. You go ahead. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> So, you didn't know what to say on your first date, either? Oh, no, honey, but I got the gift for Gab. The point is, you gotta be yourself, too. Only louder. Hi. Hello! I got popcorn. I love popcorn! Here's your soda. Hi, look at the size of this thing. It should come with a lifeguard. Yeah, I think mine has an undertow. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my soda's so big, I don't think I'll be able to drink it all. <laughs> it's really big. Trust me, Dijon mustard comes right out. 
<laughs> look at that stain. Doesn't it look just like Jill Eikenberry? <laughs> I spill a lot, too. This used to be a solid. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. I prefer it if James doesn't wear a tie at all. It just takes me longer to undress him. Mm. <laughs> Darling, don't tell secrets out of the bedroom. <laughs> what bedroom? I'm talking about last night in the elevator of the equity building. Oh. Ooh, could I tell you stories about this one? Oh, boy, can I tell you stories about this one? <laughs> sure, I made them up, but they'd knock your socks off. <laughs> You know, James, it's funny how you ended up with someone from the other side of the river. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> it's no insult. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that my father worked on the tube for 30 years. My father sat in front of the tube for 40. <laughs> Do you know, before I worked for James, I almost got a job at Buckingham Palace doing the Queen's hair. Ah! I almost got a job in the village doing hair on Queen's. <laughs> well, uh, Maxwell, it's obviously we are attracted to the same kind of woman. You've inherited my gift for mixing business with pleasure. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Father, but I hired Miss Fine solely for her extensive experience in childcare. That's right. You had enough. Now let's take it away. <laughs> so, James, you obviously did well for yourself. I mean, this isn't a cheap tie. <laughs> Although now it's not worth anything. <laughs> I do all right, Sylvia. I make most of my money in investments. In fact, I just got a hot tip. Guaranteed to triple your return. No commitment, short term. Oh, no commitment, short term? Hmm. Throw in some children, a dumped wife, and you got your life. <laughs> <clears throat> Isn't this delightful? <laughs> Where did you get the exquisite shrimp? I came with her. <laughs> I meant the crustacean. Oh, she's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good. Well, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, Maxwell was calling me a trump. <laughs> no offense, Joan, but father, I cannot imagine what possessed you to bring this woman into my home. My poor mother sitting alone like a dog. I thought you hated your mother. Well, I like her now. <laughs> Anyone see Babe? <laughs> How'd they get that pig to line all those lines? <laughs> Just cut your father some slack. I mean, he obviously just wants to live his life hassle-free without any commitments. Not unlike you. Let it go. The man's entitled to a girlfriend. And not if his wife has anything to say about it. <gasps> You're married? Mm. Isn't that delightful? <laughs> playing cat and mouse so long, I decided to make an honest woman out of her. <laughs> well, I was wrong. You and your father are completely different, and I like him better. <laughs> so, uh, Maxwell, how about a toast to me and my new wife? Oh. Wife? I think gold digger is a more appropriate description. How dare you speak to your mother like that, huh? <laughs> Stepmother, darling, youthful stepmother. <laughs> I'm coming! Stepmother! <laughs> My Yiddish mama. Uh, Oh, yeah.
first letter right now. Dear Fran, my son sits too close to our TV set. When he's watching, what should I do for Mary in Dayton, Ohio? Oh, well, Mary, here's the thing. Get a bigger TV. This way his head will be comparatively smaller and I won't block your view, honey. <laughs> 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 Hall in New Jersey. Dear Fran, I choose not to breastfeed, but my husband thinks I should. What should I do? Well, that depends, Jackie. Do you have any children? 